Hi everyone, it's Justine. When you buy a new swimsuit, there are several things to consider, right? First, your body type, then the materials, comfort, durability, colors, patterns, etc. There are lots of brands out there and the quality really varies widely. So I'd like this video to be a comprehensive guide for you to know what to look for and what will work for you in the swimwear category. I will start with shapes, proportions, colors, this kind of thing. And then I will touch upon quality because most swimwear guides out there don't mention that at all. Shapes, cuts, proportions. I will start with what flatters which kind of body. Swimwear always shows a lot of skin. So it's often a game of hiding the areas of your body that you're not so comfortable with and highlighting the parts that you do love. As a designer, I think that clothes should help you. They are tools to help you feel more comfortable and confident in your body. So that's what I'm gonna focus on in this video. You might remember Emma. Emma is my assistant. If you want to highlight your bust because it's your favorite part of your body, wear an eye-catching pattern like this at the top with big flowers, for instance. This is very easy to find. Or ruffles that will move in the wind or move as you move. Basically, you want something interesting to be going on at this level here. Then combine a top like this with a more tuned down bottom, something in a darker slash neutral color um, navy blue or black are good options so that the attention is all here. Some swimsuits, especially when they have a top and a bottom, have sometimes adjustable straps. That's a good thing if you need more support for the breast, so look out for this. It should work like a bra. Now, if you want people to do the opposite, which is instead of focusing here, they should look at this area, at your nice bum and at your hips. Then an option like this with ties on the side is a smart thing. See, surfer girls, who are typically very sporty, very well-trained, they have wide shoulders and busts, very fit, and then narrower hips because of all the sport they're doing. They often wear things like this, which adds volume to the sides, and it balances out optically the width of the upper body. Or maybe you're a pear shape, and you still want to highlight your bum because you like it. <laughs> exactly the same method how to attract the attention onto your backside with design elements typically. So this is black on black, but it has fringes, so it's moving. So the eye is automatically attracted onto that area. Or you have little design elements here on the sides, also attracts the eye. You have a rope, you can france it and do a little bit of drapery on each side, same effect. Third example, you wear a pattern on the bottom and you keep the top more plain in a solid color. It all does the same job. Most brands still offer to buy the top and the bottom only as a complete set, but good brands will allow you to buy the top and the bottom separately. Typically, when I talk with women who are peer shaped, they tell me that they have so wider hips, typical of peers, right? And then they say they have even sometimes the, the hips that is one size bigger as their bust. In swimwear, that's not a problem if you can buy the two separately. So look out for brands that do offer that. No matter whether you want to attract the attention to your bust or to your hips, the rule behind it is always have the design, the pattern, the volume, the movement going on there so that people look at that area and not the rest. If you are insecure about your belly because it's your problem zone or just because you feel like your lower abs are not at the very top of the game today. That happens to everyone, everyone. Um, I would highly suggest something high-waisted like this. I'm not talking about the pattern, I'm just talking about the shape. Simple cut, high waist, you can see the, the difference here. I don't know about you, but when I'm at the beach, I just want to go play. I don't want to have to suck my abs in and look, how do I look, blah, blah, blah. I just want to live my life. <laughs> Um, tell me what you think about that in the comments. I think in the 21st century, we're done with feeling uncomfortable in our clothes. A one piece is also a great option, not just for pairs, for all body types, because you know, you won't get a tan belly, which might be a bit of a problem for me, but full comfort, nothing rides up or down. And that's a huge selling argument. <laughs> Now I want to talk specifically about patterns for a second so that you know how to use them to your advantage. Easy tricks. Vertical lines, like on this one, two piece or one piece, doesn't matter. Vertical stripes will always make you appear taller, more long and lean, thinner. If the stripes were horizontal instead of vertical, they would accentuate your curves. Bust, waist, hips difference, even though 
in the first place you weren't necessarily an hourglass, you will look curvier if you use horizontal stripes. Then large patterns look good on tall people like me. That's my kind of format. But if you're petite, you will find that this shape and size of flowers is maybe too big for you and they are bigger than you. In that case, look for smaller flowers or smaller patterns in general. The size of the motifs on swimwear or any other kind of clothing, by the way, should be adapted to your frame size. Moving on to quality, there are several things to pay attention to here. First, the quality of the fabric itself can vary tremendously. So you want to test the fabric by pulling this way and this way, so four-way stretch, to see if the fabric bounces back properly. If yes, it means that it will not lose its shape or loosen up after just a few wears. That's something that we want. You're looking for a minimum of thickness and tightness in the way it's knitted. This fabric here is not so good. This is a cheap swimsuit. And this here is a lot better. You can see how it expands more and yet comes back into place. That's a more expensive swimsuit as well. Then you want to check the seams. You should have a double line of stitching on pretty much every edge. Only one line and if the seam comes open, your swimsuit will come completely undone. No? You... Two lines of stitching with a chain stitch at the back. This is what you need for stability and in my opinion that's a must. Then the seams should also have a bit of buffer so that they allow the stretchy fabric to actually stretch. So this is good. Make sure you have a lining as well. So either the lining is in a different fabric or it could also be a second layer of the same fabric as the outside, that works as well, but you need a lining both for hygiene and for stability when you wear it. If the swimsuit includes some hardware, plastic like this is not a good option because it will get discolored by salt and sun and whatnot and it will break eventually. That's the weakest part in a swimsuit when you have plastic hardware. Metal hardware that is plated will, will lose its plating very soon, very sure. <laughs> so if you have metal somewhere, Raw metal like this here is really your best bet. This, this is not gonna move, that's the best option. Neon colors are also a thing. I know they look fabulous when you're tanned, they do, <laughs> but neon colors are the least color fast, meaning that the color is not resistant. They will fade first before any other color and especially before any darker color. So neon is lovely, but it won't last more than a few seasons. Next point and an important one, nowadays there are swimsuits that provide sun protection, just like sunscreen. To give you an idea, a point of comparison, if you go into the water wearing a regular t-shirt to protect yourself against the sun, the protection that you get is a factor five or six, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation. Swimsuits that offer proper protection need to have a factor of 30, 50, 50 plus. 50 plus means that one fiftieth of the UV rays that go through the fabric actually reach the skin. The rest gets blocked by the fabric. That's good. Sometimes in beach stores, you see long sleeves in what looks like swimwear fabric. Be very careful because they don't all protect you against the sun. Do the test, hold the fabric towards the sun, look through it. If you can see the sun through the fabric, then it's not sun protecting fabric. I've been digging into the topic of sun protection because I got two swimsuits from the brand Organic Basics, which just launched a swimwear line. And the fabric is thicker and more opaque than any swimsuit I've owned until now. I was even more curious because the fabric is made from recycled waste from oceans and landfill, which is a great way to reuse resources. Both designs are sun lotion and chlorine resistant. So you can wear them to the pool, to the beach, <laughs> wherever you want. And they have a UV protection factor of 50 plus. Both are adjustable at the back and the ties are long enough to fit different bust measurements. <laughs> and for the two-piece swimsuit, you can order the top and the bottom in different sizes. I like when brands launch less products, but good products. I've been following Organic Basics for several years. They started with underwear, then they got into sports clothes, then ready to wear and now swimwear. If you're looking for good quality basics in colors that will not go out of trend, it's a good place to look. And as they are sponsoring this video, you can get 10% off your order if you follow the link in the description and use the code OBJUSTINE at checkout. The code is valid not only on the swimwear, but on the entire website and they ship worldwide. That was a full swimwear guide in one video. <laughs> if you found it helpful, 
thumbs up. Thank you very much for your support. If you'd like to know more about which kind of clothes slash swimsuits flatters your specific body type, watch the video linked here in the corner as well as down below in the description. If you've watched until here and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, this is your chance. Click on subscribe and also on the little notification bell so that you get the info when I upload a new video. I will see you soon again in the new one and until then, take care. Bye.